Hello, I'm coming to you from a television studio in Munich and in the dark. Why? To illustrate the importance of light. The German photonic sector is known the world round and is used in every corner of the globe and beyond. Last year, on October 20th, German extraterrestrial technology made history when a NASA space probe collected rock samples from an asteroid more than 320 million kilometers from Earth. The probe was equipped with a special optical material that minimizes light interference and enabled this daring maneuver. It was made by Berghof Fluoroplastics in southwest Germany. And it's far from the only German photonics product involved in space exploration. German technology has also played a crucial role in the European Space Agency's Mars Express mission, which has been photographing and mapping the Red Planet since 2003. I think it really showcases that Germany is very strong um, because the European Space Agency has really exciting projects that are inspiring all of humanity, such as reusable rockets, such as going to the Mars, uh, robot missions to Mars, and exploring the moon further than we already have. And Germany as an economic powerhouse of Europe is strongly contributing to it by contributing people, such as Alexander Gass, who's a famous astronaut who does manned missions, but also contributing to things like the European module of the International Space Station and various research and development projects. So it really goes from groundbreaking research and development to industrial use products that can go to space beyond and come back even. Hundreds of millions of kilometers closer to home, the undisputed center of the German photonics industry is the eastern city of Jena, which is home to world-renowned companies like Zeiss and Jen Optik, as well as the groundbreaking Fraunhofer Institute for Applied Optics and Precision Engineering, IOF. In the Jena Valley, we have some 180 companies involved in the areas of optics and photonics. These companies have created 15,000 good jobs, mostly for university educated people. They export successfully to the entire world, and they found niches here and have bright prospects. Wherever you travel in Germany, you'll find big companies and exciting applications in the sector. Bosch, Trumpf, Schott, Aqua Geffert, Osram and Laserline are just some of the firms involved. Photonics plays a key role in semiconductors and fields such as medical technology, photovoltaics and mechanical engineering aviation. From computer tomography and automobile sensors to fiber optic communications and barcode scanners, photonics has become an essential part of life in the 21st century. That's why revenue in the sector has increased 220% in 15 years. What was 17 billion euros in 2005 grew to 37.5 billion by 2019. And revenues look likely to continue increasing. The uh, German photonic sector is really um, a key supplier to the strong German manufacturing base. Uh, Germany is well known around the world for engineering and manufacturing. In particular, uh, number one opportunity, I would say, is the car sector. So um, things like uh, the increasingly automated car is using technologies such as LiDAR. That's one of the key technologies that the photonic sector has to supply. If we look at manufacturing on a broader base, we see that uh, in Germany, one key trend is Industry 4.0, or making factories smart and connecting them to the outside world. Photonics supplies some of the key technologies there as well through things like measurement technology, uh, as an example. And uh, maybe as a third uh, route into the country right now is anything relating to medical technologies. Uh, German photonics companies themselves are moving there, but also there are key capabilities that we see come from outside Germany into the country. I hope this video has given you a sense of the force within the German photonics sector. And you don't have to be a Jedi Knight to find out more. Just head to gtai.com to contact a Germany trade and invest expert and a like below would light up our day. Till next time, in the words of Master Yoda, luminous beings are we.